Hello and welcome to Big Hair Sunday in honor of Lionsgate. Rawr! Okay. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to do a little reading for the week, the week's energy. We are loudly in this Leo new moon and Lionsgate. So you can work with this energy. We'll talk about that during this video. I'll also throw down some cards and see where we go. All right. Check it out. Let's see what's going on. This week I will be putting up the um, the working with your Chiron class and working with your North Node class. Both of those classes are going to happen later in the month. Uh, it's good to know what your Chiron is and your North Node, but let's talk about working with that energy. Okay, so those classes will both be posted this week. They're going to be held later this month live. All right, let's see where we go. I think Chiron might already be up, but I'm not sure. So <laughs> I'll say Monday. All right. What's going on here? Uh-huh. Choosing your path. Wandering path. I'm sensing a theme. Desert passage. Trust that there is a divine plan. So um, some of you in this energy are doing an active thing, right? Leo, fire. Some of you are doing an active thing. Some of you are doing a more internal journey. Uh, both of those are valid. What do we mean when we say alignment? You're in alignment. What do we mean by that? Um, your soul has a path. You have made some contracts before coming into this life. And so you can choose how to work with that energy you can choose to resist it in which case you get a tower moment or you can choose to embrace it like for example you know i'm mostly fire and air in my astrology chart so going with the flow feels weird to me it feels like not my energy but it is balance and so that's something that i am learning to work with in um in my lifetime and it's something that has always been an interesting lesson for me, as is the lesson of perspective. How you look at things is almost the only thing that matters. If you look at things as a negative, then it's a negative. If you look at a thing as positive, then it's a positive. Perspective. If you can get that right, boy, you can fix a lot of stuff in your life. You really can. Okay, let's see where we go here. It's all about perspective. Uh-huh. Hermit. Sorry about my nails today. I'm going to get that done. Lovers. Eight of Swords. Talk about perspective here, right? Eight of Swords. A magician. Hanged Man. This is called the Hanged One in this deck. This is the Ember and Aura deck, in case you're wondering. All the decks I use are listed on the website. So if you want to know the decks I use, please go there. Four of Swords, smack dab in the middle. Two of Swords. King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, judgment. Okay, so right away, what's underneath, the card that's underneath is about listening to your wisdom, listening to your guidance. Some of you may need to be seeking a teacher some of you may be becoming a teacher. How do you, how does one become a teacher? You move through the lessons of your life. You share how you navigated those lessons. Voila. Teacher. Okay. Especially spiritual teaching is an experiential kind of path. And that's what Chiron is all about too. Chiron is about healing the wound inside you, the deepest wound inside you that's hard to do, like it's hard to see at first, that it's hard to access. But then once you do that work of healing that, it's your mission to bring that medicine to the world. Okay? So I feel like here, some of you may be feeling that the choices you've made in the past are what's killing you, okay? Are what's holding you back. And that's in many cases true but it's also made you who you are so if you're feeling like oh i need to be perfect to be a teacher no 
the perfectness of imperfection is where teaching comes from. This is about stepping into that power and manifesting from a place of persistence, a place of knowingness about what you've learned and what you're here to do, what your path is, right? Desert Passage, trust that there's a divine plan. This happened to me this morning when I was, um, a friend of mine is doing a live meditation um, for Lionsgate, you know, for this group. And so I'm taking part in that. And while I was searching around for some um, information, some prep for myself, I came upon the saying, and my mother used to have this on a, written on like a cocktail napkin, <laughs> like pasted to the window in front of the sink. And she um, drank way too much coffee and spent a lot of time leaning against that sink, looking at that crabapple tree that we planted for my grandmother. And the um, saying that was in front of her was, good morning, this is God. <laughs> something like this I'm paraphrasing I will take care of, I, I will take care of all your problems today I will not need your help have a nice day and it's something I mean it was written in her own like hey I wish I had saved it I would have framed it uh, is written in her own kind of you know very Mary T kind of handwriting and you know on this cocktail napkin and like pasted to the window and so years and years and years later I saw that on like a, you know, like a thing that you would put in your house, like a little, you know, like, and I was like, oh my God, that was a real thing. I thought she was, that was her conversation with God. I thought like God really said that to her. Maybe he did. Maybe she did. So I feel like right now the, the lesson of surrendering instead of pounding your head against a wall is something that some of you need to hear. What is the lesson of right now? Okay, as you're sitting in Lionsgate energy, what is the lesson of right now? Am I pushing? Am I pushing the river? Am I trying to make some things happen? And if I'm choosing my path, am I allowing it to be my path and allowing myself to flow with that path? And being on the spiritual path is a lot like finding breadcrumbs. And wherever you find them, that's what it is. Okay, so while there's no two identical pathways, um, I'm definitely going to be doing something this fall that's more like, you know, how to navigate a spiritual path. If you're into that, please let me know in the comments, uh, because I'm feeling more and more like my work is taking me to a place where um, I'm working with not empowerment, but showing you your power, because I feel like a lot of you don't know how powerful you are. A lot of you don't know your teachers, healers, guides. The folks who come to my channel are healers, teachers, guides, mystics, shamans. Okay. And I feel like some of you are likely resisting that out of a fear that it's ego, out of a fear that it's like, oh, what could I possibly have to say? And I feel like right now the answer is self-love. The answer is sitting in meditation. The answer is doing starting a practice if you don't have one. Because I feel like with the, um, some of you choose the path of love and relationship because you feel like it fills a hole for you. Okay? It, feel, it feels like it fills a hole. And that choice is in order to be in relationship properly, in a way that is fulfilling and joyful is to be already full. Okay. Instead of seeking the other and, and asking and manifesting the other for purposes of your own um, fulfillment, it's the other way around. It's seeking fulfillment in the purpose of being in a relationship that is, is fulfilling because you come to it from a place of fullness of wholeness. And the, human spirit, the human soul can resist that. Because what if that means that I don't have a partner? What if that means that I'm going to be alone for my whole life? I'm going to seek love in an external way because that's the path to wholeness instead of the path to wholeness is fulfillment. And then that 
by extension manifests in the partner. Okay. I see lots of Gemini here. I see Gemini. Um, I see Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Because the Aries can be in that magician too with Mars. And then I see Virgo here. So what, ironically enough, the treasure is already existing. It's really just a, a, a matter of you noticing. That's all. You don't have to do anything. The treasure already exists inside you. King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Already exists inside you. So the action is an internal one. The action is about a seeking of internal um, awareness around the wholeness that you already are. And that brings you to a different kind of choice. Okay, so lovers is choice and judgment is crossroads. So this, this is effectively making a decision instead of basing it on this, this belief that the answer is somehow out there, the belief is now shifted in your spiritual path to the answer resides inside me. And that answer, that um, experience of being whole and fulfilled brings in the crossroads of the life partner. And that can be, like I said, I see Aries, Leo, Sag, I see Gemini, and I see Virgo. So I'm going to continue on with this. If this message is for you, if you are on the spiritual path, on twin flame, soulmate, seeking your soulmate, um, in whatever way, this is the, I feel like this message is like the surefire way to manifest in the life partner, the high vibration life partner. Okay. So we're going to continue on with this. If this does resonate for you, I, like I said, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, I will look at those signs if you're connected with one of those or if you are one of those. Okay. All right. Link is below. I'll see you over there.